and That's each good. dimension mm -hmm. is giving us the information mm -hmm. That information is the true, inf is the real information that mm -hmm. we need. Right. Once we learn about the nature of each mm -hmm. dimension, right. once we learn about ourselves in mm -hmm. this system, right. how our own personal uh, mm -hmm. being yes. relates to mm -hmm. each of the each of the dimensions, mm -hmm. some of us will immediately know right. that we need to work on the mm. second one or we need to work on the third one or the fourth one and so on right so each of us is a little mm. different yeah but that practice is essential in order to grow spiritually right. which means mm. allow our kundalini our individual mm. consciousness right to move up mm -hmm. and receive mm -hmm. all that information and then mm -hmm. possibly open the seventh chakra right mm -hmm. if we can open the seventh mm -hmm. chakra yeah then we unite mm -hmm. with all there is mm -hmm. and when full understanding and bliss mm -hmm. of awareness that we are the creators exactly that we create everything that's happening mm -hmm. and what's really incredible is that once once our consciousness reaches here mm -hmm. there are no more questions yeah you cannot <laughs> ask any more questions everything is answered mm -hmm. and you don't Mm. You know that your mind, once your mind opens up here, you know that the, mi the mind can figure things out. Mm -hmm. Once it gets here, mm -hmm. from here to here, we have the process of mm -hmm. self-inquiry. Mm -hmm. And in, during that process, we learn intuitively what's mm -hmm. happening. And, and mm -hmm. we, we get the information that tell, helps us to continue mm -hmm. self-inquiry and allow the seventh chakra open because right. without self-inquiry mm -hmm. the seventh chakra will mm -hmm. not break open right and will remain religious mm -hmm. right well so that leads me to my next question so for a spiritual seeker or a student to understand how you teach about the different dimensions and the chakras mm -hmm. what benefits can that have to being able to break through some of the blockages oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah well the, it's just like a day and night yeah. basically mm -hmm. uh, because what we have the information that we have available can be extremely confusing mm -hmm. You know, people talk about, and I and I have that happening all the time. People have experiences, but they have no idea hmm. where it's coming from. Right. Whether it's, uh, you know, it, I can tell that someone had a heart opening, hmm. but they don't really understand mm -hmm. what it means. They're okay. looking for it again, and they right. can't find it again, mm -hmm. and they don't know why. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. like that, or emotional issues this is normal we all have lingering emotional stuff mm -hmm. in here mm -hmm. from the time we were babies or from the time from past lives mm -hmm. we can have lingering emotions that are actually intertwined mm -hmm. with thoughts and mental systems and right. boy we can't get out of it and mm -hmm. it's not your fault that mm -hmm. you can't get out of it it's because the mind is limited mm -hmm. and understanding of that is not mm -hmm. so easy right because we keep on thinking mm -hmm. using this mind right and this mind is not going to show you mm. what's happening up there because right. chakras are the chakra system has hierarchy mm, right and we need to release the energy mm. from these chakras okay. which are usually congested yes mm. mental systems we learn from very early on and we think that that's how we have to live mm -hmm. because 
everybody else lives that way right. because this is what we learned in mm -hmm. school and so on. Mm -hmm. But that's just the mind. There is nothing wrong mm. with the mind. The right. mind needs to think, it mm -hmm. will think, it will come up with thoughts. It's a phenomenal tool to right. use. Mm -hmm. But if it's congested, if it has all those mental systems in right. there, all those that we call, you know, stale beliefs yeah. com com combined with whatever structure we put that belief in, right. mm -hmm. whether it would be uh, what we learned in school or how our family situation was, mm -hmm. whatever we experienced as children, right. whatever, uh, whatever um, times we had that were difficult for us, mm -hmm. it all stays it all stays in the third chakra. Yeah. It all stays in the second chakra. Mm -hmm. So practices, mm -hmm. I teach practices mm -hmm. that help to clear up the mm -hmm. second right. and third chakra yes. completely. You doing the exercises right. where you observe mm -hmm. your progress right. and where you at some point achieve mm -hmm. the state yeah which is called emptiness, by mm -hmm. the way, neutrality mm -hmm. of emotions. Right. You can reach that state, and that state allows the Kundalini to move up because yeah. it creates an emotional vacuum. Right. Mm -hmm. And it actually pulls the ah. energy that's truly there. All right. It pulls mm -hmm. the energy in. Yeah. The same happens, the same process happens mm -hmm. with uh, with this chakra mm -hmm. because once we empty the mind and we can mm -hmm. empty the mind from thoughts right yes mm -hmm. it's a magical mm -hmm. uh, occurrence mm -hmm. but we can lead up to it mm -hmm. we can't the mind will not tell you when it's going to surrender right but can we can lead up to the time mm -hmm. when it's going to be ready to surrender right so there are practices that are very different on the third mm -hmm. chakra. Yeah. The upper chakras, mm -hmm. usually, we need to cultivate. Right. Sometimes the sixth one and even the fifth one can be congested also mm -hmm. yeah. with, uh, with the knowledge that mm -hmm. uh, makes us, uh, makes us kind of stuck in there. Right. But most of the time, the upper ones in comparison to the lower mm -hmm. ones need to be Right. developed mm. uh, through the practices find yourself in mm -hmm. each dimension right at first mm -hmm. it's hard for some of us to find mm -hmm. ourselves up here or right. to find ourselves in the upper ones mm -hmm. in the second and third one it's much easier right, right? and <laughs> well, in the first one as well yeah. because we're here mm -hmm. We know that we have a body. There yeah. is no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. No, I yeah. would say that all of us know <laughs> we have a body. Right? <laughs> yeah. So if that body, and I don't teach a lot about the first dimension because yeah. there is so much information about it, about yeah. nutrition, about yeah. about mm -hmm. uh, exercise, about mm -hmm. keeping the body healthy. Mm -hmm. But generally, there is no knowledge about the subtle right. body. Yeah. There is no knowledge mm -hmm. how to how to work on the second chakra. There yeah. is no there hasn't been yet very definite n knowledge. Mm -hmm. Although I hear it's uh, about it's here and there uh -huh. that separation of the huh. emotions and right. mind. Yes, separating mm -hmm. the thoughts from the from yes. uh, from emotions. Mm -hmm. And this is main principle mm -hmm. I use in my teachings mm -hmm. which is working on each chakra mm -hmm. separately right understanding the dimension it opens up mm -hmm. us up to mm -hmm. individually yeah and uh, and understanding the nature of it so we can so we can work mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. so we can work with the yeah. mind but after mm -hmm. our emotions are already after you already know the practice that will clear the emotions right yes because kundalini will start moving up already mm -hmm. as we go through those practices yeah. even if you have never done anything like that mm -hmm. if you start going through practices on emotions and then mm -hmm. on mind you will your consciousness will mm -hmm. start feeling alive right you will 
because this is our vitality. Mm -hmm. Still, some of us has strong, have stronger um, Kundalini, mm -hmm. some weaker, but yeah. each of us is a magical spirit. Mm -hmm. So, so that's why it's important to know this information so you can work with what's already available to exactly, you. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Otherwise, like your physical is going to rule the rest of your consciousness. Yes, and just like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. The physical, it's yeah. supposedly uh -huh. be ruling, but mm -hmm. actually it's the emotions of the mind right. that will be mm -hmm. ruling it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because our emotions are higher than mm -hmm. physical and True. if we don't like something because our parents didn't like it right <laughs> you know uh -huh. it's it's not going to be accessible to us because we don't like it right that's it you know yep. we're not gonna mm -hmm. go there exactly and the same with the with the mental system mm -hmm. since the if the mind uh describes something to mm -hmm. you as uh, as uh not true or right. or or unavailable mm -hmm. or uh, wrong mm -hmm. especially with the the christian dogma of right, right. and wrong true of mm -hmm. the morals yeah so if you can't decide for yourself mm -hmm. from the heart mm. because this is where the ethics are yeah the morals are here right the ethics are here mm. individual yeah individual mm. ethics that yeah. are from the heart mm -hmm. we create mm -hmm. our life from the heart mm -hmm. with good for all exactly mm -hmm. the morals are mm -hmm. for the group right and are usually connected mm -hmm. with religious dogma yep mm -hmm. so from we have that good and bad mm -hmm. and black and white and and mm -hmm. so on but actually each of us is mm -hmm. different yeah and we all need to find out mm. the truth mm by having consciousness mm -hmm. moving up mm -hmm. not getting stuck here as we usually have right but being able to move up and discover the dimensions yeah once we discover the mm -hmm. dimension of the heart and we realize that mm -hmm. we are always loved yeah <laughs> that wouldn't make a difference yeah things changed again and they mm. changing again and again and again yeah but <laughs> But this system doesn't mm. change. Exactly. It's mm. always there. Mm -hmm. And in truth, the, di the lo love is not a fantasy. Exactly. It's actual mm. real dimension. dimension yeah. And so they mm. all are actual real dimensions. Mm -hmm.